What's going on, bro, Chacho? You looking to add some size to that rear delt, if I could reach you right now? Well, today I've got for you four super crazy effective rear delt exercises that you must be equipping in your arsenal to build up the size of those rear delts. Let's get straight into this one. All right, we're gonna kick this off with one of the coolest looking and most creative ones of the rear delt exercises. We got some cable reverse flies. Now, as you guys can see me demonstrating here, I'm not even using any handles. I'm simply grabbing on to the ends of those little plastic balls that they have, and I'm just doing my reverse flies from here. Now, I want to mention something that is going to apply to all of these exercises in order to maximize the effectiveness for your rear delt. You must focus on beginning the motion with a protracted scapula, meaning that your shoulder blades Meaning that your shoulder blades start outwards, okay? You wanna first begin by just moving your arms as opposed to the way that most people do it when they begin by retracting your scapula as such. As you can see with my scapula, it's squeezing right here. That's, this is the typical way most people begin this motion here. The reason you don't wanna begin that way is because it's gonna bring in all of your upper back muscles and it's just gonna dwarf your rear delt. Your rear delt is just gonna be getting hit secondarily. So to hit it primarily, what you wanna begin with it's just moving the arms, and then after you get to a fair amount of distance, then you can go ahead and retract the scapula. This is super important. Now this is a muscle group that tends to respond best to a lot of volume, so 15 to 20 rep sets. Ensure that you get a nice squeeze at the peak of the contraction, and use light weight. This will help you to activate more of the rear delt, and minimize the role that your upper back plays. When you use too much weight, the way that most people do, your upper back is gonna dwarf the rear delt. All right, now item number two we've got here is some band pull apart. This exercise is phenomenal phenomenal because as you pull out the band and you stretch it out even further, the exercise gets more difficult. This really flips the resistance curves on this exercise. Now to target the rear delts maximally, you want to keep that band at about shoulder level. You really don't want to bring the band up to like forehead level because that's really going to involve a lot of the lats and not allow you to get as much rear head delt targeting as you possibly can here. Okay, next we've got a classic. We got the bent over dumbbell flies, but I have modified this to actually effectively target the rear head of the deltoids a little bit more than the way that most people do. Because you see, most guys begin this movement with a nice neutral grip, thumbs facing up, and that's the way they begin. When you do the motion like this, I find you get a lot of the uh, lateral head of the deltoid involved, but to target strictly just the posterior head, I have switched that neutral grip into a pronated grip, palms facing down. And I begin the flying motion like this. This helps to really maximize the targeting on the rear head of the deltoid and minimize that lateral head. Again, 15 to 20 repetitions. Start light, always go light with these exercises and really focus on trying to get a nice squeeze at the peak of the contraction. Slow and under control. Let's get into item number four here. All right, fourth and final exercise. We got the band face pulls here. This is a modification of the way that most guys do this with the cables, but it is super effective with the bands. Now I need to tell you why. Most guys just do this and they bring the band to the forehead, which is cool and will hit your rear head of the deltoids. But in order to maximize the effectiveness of this exercise, what you can also do, as you will see me doing right here, is pull that band apart as far as you possibly can. This is like the number one intensity increasing mechanisms or techniques that you can apply to this exercise. I'm guaranteeing you, you will never feel such a burn in your rear head of your delts as when you do with the band pull apart at that portion right there. Especially when you incorporate 15 to 20 repetitions, again, focusing on beginning the motion with a protracted scapula and just getting the motion with the rear head of the deltoids by bringing those arms back at the peak of the contraction is then fine to bring in the final squeeze of the scapula. So there you guys go, four super effective rear deltoid exercises that you need to equip in your deltoid training arsenal if you really want to maximize the size and the three-dimensionalness and the fullness and the roundness of your deltoid. Now I wanna make mention, if you guys enjoy these types of videos, then you might be also interested in my 14-week physique sculpting program. There's a link in the description this is a step-by-step -step training program it includes video walkthroughs full in-depth trainings like you don't have to think about it, anything it's all laid out there for you it'll get you cut it'll help you to build muscle it's the exact program that I've used for years to carve a crazy killer physique so if you're interested in that as I said link in the description other than that guys hope you enjoyed the video if you did then be sure to give your boy a like down below and also be sure to subscribe for weekly workout tips and nutrition tips that you will not want to miss Thank you so much for joining me, you guys. See you in the next video.